guys, it's Miss Trevino. Today we're going to be reading Tito Puente, Mambo King, Rey del Mambo, a bilingual picture book by Monica Brown, illustrated by Rafael Lopez. Something interesting about this book is that it is in both English and Spanish, which is also known as bilingual. So I will be reading the English part and the Spanish part, but Miss Sierra is not fluent in Spanish, so my Spanish might sound a little funky at times, but I'm trying my best, so let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, clap your hands for Tito Puente. The Mambo King plays and sways as people dance the mambo, the rumba, and the cha-cha. Damas y caballeros, niños y niñas, aplaudan a Tito Puente. El rey del mambo toca su música y balanceará mientras la alianza bailar el mambo, la rumba y el cha-cha-cha. Before he could walk, Tito was making music. He banged spoons and forks on pots and pans, window seals and cans. Aún antes de caminar, Tito ya hacía música. Usaba cucharas y tenedores para golpear ollas y sartenes, alfirzares y latas. Tum tiquetat tic tum tiquetam tam. He was so loud his neighbors in Spanish Harlem said, Get that boy some music lessons! And that is exactly what his mother did. Hacía tanto ruido que sus vecinos de el barrio de Harlem decían, Lleven a ese niño a tomar clases de música! Y eso es exactamente lo que hizo su mamá. Tito loved to dance too. A Tito también le encantaba bailar. Tap, tippy, tap, tip. Every year his church held a Star of the Future contest. Little Tito danced and spun and tapped and drummed and... Tito won! He was named King of the Stars over the years. Tito became king four times. Cada año su iglesia auspiciaba un concurso llamado Las Estrellas del Futuro. El pequeño Tito bailó, giro, zapateo, tamborileo y... Tito ganó. Lo coronaron rey de dos estrellas. Al paso de los años, Tito fue nombrado rey cuatro veces. Bam! Slam! When he wasn't playing music, Tito played baseball with sticks on the streets of his neighborhood. Cuando no estaba tocando música, Tito jugaba al bispo con palos de madera en las calles de su barrio. Tito performed at parties, restaurants, and clubs. His first band was called Los Happy Boys, and their music made people happy. Tito tocaba en fiestas, restaurantes, y clubes nocturnos. Su primera banda se llamaba Los Happy Boys. Su música hacía que la gente se sintiera feliz. During World War II, Tito was in the Navy. He joined the ship's band and learned to play the saxophone and write music. After the war, Tito went to Juilliard School of Music and dreamed of having his own band. Tito formó parte de la Marina durante la Segunda Guerra Mundial. Allí se unió a la banda de sus barrio y aprendió a tocar el saxofono y a escriba, escribir música. Después de la guerra, Tito estudia en la Escuela de Música Juilliard. Sonaba con tener su propia orquesta. On weekends, Tito played magical mambos and beautiful cha-chas with different bands at the Palladium Ballroom in New York City. People love dancing to salsa and the rhythm of Tito and his timbales. Still, he wished he could be the band leader. Durante los fines de semana, Tito tocaba mambos mágico y chachachas bellos con diferentes bandas y el salón de Valle Valladín en Nuevo New York. A la audiencia la encantaba bailar al son de las asas y los diferentes ritmos que Tito tocaba con sus timbales. Su embargo, el siguió descando ser director de un orquesta. Tito's dreams finally came true when he led his very own big band, the Tito Puente Orchestra. He wrote music and recorded more than 100 albums. He made music with Celia Cruz, Santana, and La Lupe. El sueño de Tito al fin se hizo realidad cuando logró dirigir su propia orquesta, la Orquesta de Tito Puente. Tito escribió su propia música y grabó más de 100 álbumes. Hizo música con Celia Cruz, Santana y La Lupe. When Tito Puente Orchestra played, the tambourine sounded like the rain on the metal roofs. Cuando la orquesta de Tito Puente tocaba, las panderetas sonaba como la lluvia cayendo sobre techos de metal. The horns blew high and loud and strong and low. 
Los cuernos soplaban altos y agudos, puertas y gradas. The claves snagged clackety clackety clack clack and everyone's feet went tapity tap. Best of all, Tito played the timbales. Las claves se glopieban clackety clackety clack clack y todos los pies hacían tapity tap tap. Y lo mejor de todo, Tito tocaba sus timbales. Doom tick a tat tick, doom tick a tom tom. In 1979, Tito won a very special award called a Grammy. The first of five. It was a way of saying, thank you, Tito. Thank you, Mambo King. Thank you for making us want to dance and sing. In 1979, Tito recibo un premio muy especial llamada el Grammy. El primero de cinco que recibía durante su vida. El premio fue un forma de decir, gracias, Tito. Gracias, Rey del Mambo. The dancers swirled, the lights swirled, and the Mambo went on and on. Los bailarines giraban, las luces estaban vueltas en espiral, y el mambo seguía y seguía. Tum tiquetat tic tum tiquetam tam. The end. El fin. Tiro Puente is orchestra and el rey del timbal. was actually Tito Puente playing with his band. And at the end, it was another song of him playing with his band too. So we're gonna play a little game. I'm gonna ask you a few questions about the book and you're just gonna answer whatever you remember about it. So the first question is, what instrument did Tito Puente play? If you answered timbales, which are right here, you are correct. And if you also were like, oh man, I answered saxophone, you are also correct, which is right here. So if you answered any of those instruments, give yourself a point. Next question is, what was Tito's dream to be? If you said band leader, you are also correct. Good job. So if you said that, give yourself a point. Here's a hard one. Here's a super hard one. What award did Tito Puente win at the end of the book? A Grammy! You're so right! And it's right here. This is what a Grammy looks like. And that's an award you win when you make super good music. So if you answered Grammy, give yourself another point. Alright, last question. Are you ready? What phrase kept coming back in the book? Think about it. Think, give yourself some time to think. This one's really hard. If you said, Doom ticket that dick, doom ticket dom dom, you're correct! Those are the last of the questions. If you got that right, give yourself another point. Alright, I tricked you. There's a bonus question. Are you ready? What was your favorite part about the book? Now, there's no wrong answer to this one, so feel free to say whatever you want. That was also my favorite part of the book. I enjoyed that part so much. All right, so we're gonna go back to that one phrase that we mentioned in one of the questions, which was doom tick a tat tick, doom tick a tom tom. And we're gonna do a little body percussion with it. So watch me, ready? Doom tick a tat tick, doom tick a tom tom. Can you try that with me? Ready? Doom tick a tat tick, doom tick a tom tom. How did you do? We're gonna do it one more time and try and say the phrase as you do the body percussion, yeah? That'll help you a lot. Ready? Doom, tick a dot, tick, doom, tick a dom, dom. So what motion do we do for doom? You're right, it's a clap, so everyone clap. Ready? Doom, say it with me, doom. 
And what body percussion did we do with Dika? You're right, it's the the shoulder touch, yeah? So let's put that together, ready? Doom Dika. Yeah? Let's do that one more time, ready? Doom Dika. And what body percussion do we do with that dick? Think about it. You're right, we did the snaps for that. So doom dicka da dick, yeah? You're right. So let's put those motions together from the top, ready? Doom dicka da dick. Good job, let's do that one more time, ready? Doom dicka da dick. And then we just repeat that one more time. So we go doom dicka da dick, doom dicka. Oh wait, but that part changed at the end, right? So what was that last thing that we did at the very end? <sighs> I don't remember. Do you remember? <gasps> You're so right. It was dom dom. Good job. So it kind of looks like this. Doom dick a da dick. Doom dick a dom dom. Try it with me. Ready? One more time. Doom dick a da dick. Doom dick a dom dom. So let's do that one last time and try and do it with the chant. Yeah? Let's get started. Ready? Doom, dick, da, dick, doom, dick, dom, dom. All right, so that's it for this lesson. Thank you for reading along with me today and doing some body percussion. I had so much fun, and I hope you did too. I'll see you next time. Bye.